Hey guys, welcome to today's Big Brother 18 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Mr. Clean Pappy or Poppy or Pappy. <laughs> He's been watching us for a long time. Thank you so much. And he wants to know, what personal item could I not survive in the Big Brother house without? That's a great question. Um, I'm going to have to go with music does that count I don't know I'm like a music person so I would have to have some sort of music in there even if it's somebody else's crappy HOH music I just need something every once in a while um, I'm not really sure what else I would say but let me know what you guys would need in the house in the comments I'm trying to think of it in terms of like what you're actually allowed to have because I don't think you can really bring in a lot of like personal items but anyway they had the nomination ceremony yesterday, and as expected, Victor nominated James and Natalie. Big surprise. And uh, it sounds like he made it very clear in his, in his speech that James is the target this week. Again, not a big surprise there. Uh, but after the ceremony, Natalie, James, Paul, and Victor were all in the kitchen, and Natalie apologized to Paul and Victor for stabbing them in the back when they trusted her and James. So she's like, I heard that Paul was targeting James, so that's why I nominated you guys when I was the HOH, and Paul's like, no, I was never going after James, but it's okay. So Paul and Victor were saying, there's no hard feelings, um, it's just the nature of the game. Of course they're saying no hard feelings. I feel like maybe they would think differently if they were in trouble this week, but they're on top of the world right now, so they are feeling no pain. Um, but anyway, James and Natalie were chatting in the London room, and it was a lot of coulda, shoulda, woulda, or whatever the order is of that talk from Natalie. I mean, she's just rehashing the same stuff over and over again. So she brought up something new. She was like, James, did you throw that HOH competition? Did Corey offer you the bribe to throw that? And James is like, nope, but I just really sucked. True story. All right. So then Natalie says again, we should have stuck with Paul and Victor. She's like, James, why did you trust Nicole so much? Like, I shouldn't have listened to you. She was saying she should have just stuck with Paul and Victor and let James go off on his own and work with Nicole and Corey. Ouch! I think that really stung James a bit because he was just like, I would have followed you into the dark. Apparently you wouldn't have because she was really begging him to vote out Corey that week. Um, I'm not saying that like Natalie is totally innocent here, but I think that really hurt James's feelings. So then they were talking about the upcoming veto competition and James is all like, I'm gonna throw it. And Natalie's like, you better freaking fight to win that. So James is like, fine, I'll win it and then I'll use it on you or I just won't use it at all. And Natalie's like, um, don't do that. <laughs> Why would you not use it at all? And James is saying, like, one of us is going to go home either way. So who freaking cares? So then, um, you know, he doesn't want to use it on himself, he's saying, because he wants her to stay. So he's saying, like, he's ready to fall on his sword. He's the one that said that they should trust Corey and Nicole over Paul and Victor. So he doesn't want Natalie to take the heat for that. He wants to be the one to go. And he's also telling Natalie, I think you would have a better shot at winning this than me. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Who do you think would have a better shot of winning if they stayed? Okay, so then James is telling Natalie, like, once I'm gone, you need to stick with Victor and Paul. Once, you're, once you know, I'm out of here. I just said the same thing. Whatever. Um, and he's... And she's agreeing with him. She's like, yeah, I'm going to try to work with them if I can. And uh, if I win HOH, I'm going to put up Nicole and Corey. All right. So then she's saying it took being nominated to feel like herself again. She feels a little bit better now. You know, she was all down before. But now she has, like, this cause to work towards. You know, she wants to fight to stay in the game. She's up on the block against her best friend in the house. So she feels motivated again. So motivated that it was time for Natalie and James to have a Bure nose trips party. <laughs> Get rid of those blackheads! But they did like a bunch in a row. I feel like you're only supposed to do one for like a week, right? I'm pretty sure it's like one a week. But anyway, who cares? So then uh, they had some real life chit chat, some intermittent game talk. They're just really frustrated that when Natalie was HOH, Nicole and Corey were telling them that they had to get rid of Victor or else he would win the game. Of course they're going to say that. Corey was up on the block. Um, but now, 
Nicole and Corey are working with Victor. So it just real it's a real burn there. They need some ice for that burn. So a little while later, oh my <laughs> James and Natalie were settling down for a nap in the London room. And it was all quiet. They were like trying to fall asleep or whatever. And James whispers, I love you. <laughs> oh my god. And then he says, Marilyn Monroe. I don't know what the Marilyn Monroe thing was about, but Natalie was like, shut up James and she covered his mouth important to note that she did not say I love you back oh okay so then moving on last night at midnight Corey was done being a have-not I think that have-nots are probably done for the rest of the season right like they were gonna have them this week but I think you know next week that's it there's not gonna be any more um so Corey Nicole Paul and Victor were playing dominoes up in the HOH room for like forever. Uh, Paul made his famous fries. They were all drinking Victor's beers and lemonade that Paul made. Ew, I think they even like mixed the beer and the lemonade at one point. They said it tasted pretty good, but I don't know how I feel about that. So they were playing in teams for dominoes. It was Corey and Paul versus Nicole and Victor. Now I'm not trying to read into this too much. This isn't just because of this, but like does anybody else feel like Victor is like hardcore crushing on Nicole? He's been all over her lately, and he, you know, he heard from Corey's own mouth that Corey does not want to date Nicole after this is over, and Victor didn't tell Nicole about that, which is interesting, but he's definitely been flirting with her a lot. It's interesting. Uh, but Nicole and Victor were down 3-0, to zero, and then they won four games in a row to take the tournament. Who cares? Okay, so after Domino's was over, they had a little bit of game chat. They were talking about how um, Natalie and Michelle really mishandled their co-HOH, and I'd have to agree with that. There was a lot of flip-flopping going on there. It was bad. Uh, and Nicole was saying, I know that Natalie is telling everybody that she wanted Victor to stay the whole time, but that's because she really wanted Paul to go that week, and she made it known. So, like, don't be fooled by her. And then they were talking about this week, they think it's best to get rid of James, even though they're getting really annoyed by Natalie, and how she's always saying what a good person she is. And they're arguing, like, if you were really a good person, you wouldn't have to tell, tell everyone that you are. Like, you would just prove it by your actions. And, um... They think that Natalie's going to be a mess on her own, so that's why they want to keep her around. So then Paul is saying that next week he wants them to all shun Natalie so that she doesn't feel comfortable. Come on, man. Like, don't be like that. I mean, you're getting what you wanted. Do you really have to, like, break people down like that? I mean, I get that he doesn't want her to win competitions, but at the same time, like, is it really necessary? I don't know. I think it's kind of mean. And I don't know. I just... <sighs> Okay, so then Paul and Victor were alone in the HOH room late night. You know, they were sharing the HOH room, and they were discussing James and Natalie, and they feel like Natalie is already jumping ship. They haven't even played the veto yet, but they notice she's placing all the blame on James for, you know, flipping to the other side. And then they're bringing up how Natalie and James don't even sleep in the same bed anymore. <gasps> it's like the 1950s, separate twin-size beds. Um, so then they're joking that next week, if James is gone and Natalie's still there, Natalie's going to start hitting on Paul, try to, like, crawl into bed with him. Again, like, don't be like that, guys. <laughs> I really like Paul when he's down and out, but like when he gets power, he kind of turns into a jerk again, and I really hope he's not gonna, like, don't be like that. I feel like Victor has changed a lot since he was first evicted, and um, he's a lot, a lot nicer than Paul. But anyway, today, Big Brother got the house guests up pretty early for their have-not reveal. Um, what? There are no have-nots this week. But I guess Big Brother is even like, damn, we need some freaking content. Um, so they go into the kitchen, and there was a bucket of slop, some band-aids, and six empty bowls on the table. And the note was like, yep, so there's no have-nots this week. <laughs> Put the slop away and enjoy the week. Thanks, Big Brother. All right, so a little while later, Natalie goes up to the HOH room to talk to Victor and Paul, and she's just like... Yeah, maybe I'm here for some orange juice. And also, if this is my last week in the house, I just want to clear some things up with you guys. I want to apologize again for backstabbing you. So then she says, 
I put my trust in the wrong person's hands. I trusted James and all of his opinions, and we messed up. Damn! <laughs> Damn, she really just said that. Okay, so then Paul and Victor are like, wow, we really appreciate you saying that. It's just a game, like no hard feelings. And Natalie's like, I know, but I feel bad because I betrayed two people who really had my back. And I just, I trusted James so much, and uh, he effed up. So she's like, I want you guys to know that I'm rooting for you uh, to make it to the end. And they're like, yo, don't count yourself out yet. Like, we haven't even played the power veto. You don't know what's going to happen. So she's just like, yeah, I know, I'm not giving up. But, like, it was James's fault. Okay, so then downstairs, Nicole and Corey are talking. Nicole is pissed because she saw that Natalie went upstairs to talk to Paul and Victor without James. Oh my god, how dare she? <laughs> it just sounded a little ridiculous. So, Nicole and Corey go up to the HOH room. Paul and Victor are telling them about what Natalie was saying. They're like, yeah, Natalie threw James under the bus. Savage AF. And she was blaming him for everything, which is true. It was like uh, it was not great on Natalie's part. They were all disgusted by Natalie's actions. Natalie did go downstairs and tell James uh, what she told Paul and Victor. And, you know, James is very accepting of the blame. Uh, he's kind of, like, encouraging Natalie to put it all on him. Um, but anyway, back in the HOH room, Paul is telling Nicole and Corey, Natalie's probably going to try and work with me and Victor next week if James is the one to go. Uh, but he's telling them, don't be alarmed. Like, I'm going to keep being a D. Hey to Natalie. Victor's going to be nice to her because that's who he is. But don't think that we're working with her. So Nicole's just like, oh, I can't believe this. All right. So then Paul and Victor are having a strategy chat by themselves. And they're like, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if Natalie did latch on to us next week and win the HOH because she'd be more likely to put Nicole and Corey up on the block. So they're just like, as long as it's not us, we're cool. So Paul is saying, you know, if that were to happen, we would have to try to convince Natalie that we would bring her to the final two. But no way, Jose. All right. So then this afternoon, Natalie was really upset. So she was telling James how she overheard Paul when he came out of the diary room and apparently he was like, yeah, I was shitting on Natalie or something. And um, she said that he was mocking the conversation that she had with him and Victor this morning. Um, so she just kept going on and on ranting about how Paul was shitting on her. He's been shitting on her all season. She doesn't like it because she is a nice person. And she's not going to talk to anyone anymore except for James. And James is just like, okay... <laughs> okay, I mean the patience on this guy, it's insane, but he was telling Natalie, just take the high road, it's gonna be okay. If I'm gonna go this week, you just like kill everybody with kindness, just like concentrate on working out, like get your body all right the way you want to, and then, you know, if you go home next, we'll hang out in jury. So, Natalie's saying, if I win HOH next week, I'm gonna put up Paul and Nicole. So, she's changing her tune a little bit now, I don't know. But the Power Veto competition is today. Everybody's playing now because there's only six people left. And uh, as of right now, it's still going on. So check back later. I'll post the winner in the info when, it, when the feeds come back. <sighs> and until tomorrow, <laughs> much love.